Hey, what's going on, Lonnie? This is Holden. I apologize for not sending this to you earlier, but this is the video I said I was going to send over to you. And in this video, I just want to show you a few things that you can do to really beat out your competition online and get some more customers in the door through your online presence. You know, everybody searches for what they want in Google. And, then, and if you're not getting found in the search results, then you're really just missing out on a lot of customers that are potentially out there looking for you. And a lot of times, the only hesitation I see that people have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they just don't know who the experts are and who they're not. So I've found by giving out this free plan of attack, you know, showing you a few things that you can do to really implement yourself and, and get some more customers through your online uh, website is it's really resulted in a lot of business owners coming back to me and asking me for help. So if by the end of this video, you feel like I've got some value and you want to chat, shoot me a message and we'll talk. If not, that's totally cool. These things are for you. You can implement them yourself and they'll definitely help your business out. So let's jump right in. Um, when it comes to Google optimization, the first thing that they look at is content. They want to see about 1500 words of content on your homepage alone, uh, just to be optimized. Let's say you guys have about somewhere around 700, you know, just looking here, definitely under 1500. So you want to make sure that you're really boosting that up to at least 1500 and, uh, that'll give you a little bit of an advantage. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about as far as content goes is keywords. Keywords are anything someone is searching for in the search bar up here to find you. You know, Google likes to match what people are searching for with the most relevant content out there. And if that's not, these keywords are not included on your homepage, Google is going to skip over to you and go to the next guy, right? Now, the next thing I want to show you is actually what keywords you guys have on your website. So this is a tool I use called Ahrefs, and it buys data directly from Google. Um, it's not perfect, but it does update every week. And it shows me, you know, you've got all these keywords here. Foam America, American Spray Foam, American Spray Foam Insulation, Spray Foam Insulation Pensacola. Like that's so far from you. You guys need to target more specific area keywords, things like Naples, Florida or Fort Myers, stuff like that. You know, you want to be targeting keywords in your specific area so people in your area can find you. These words are searched, you know, Spray Foam Insulation Florida, all over Florida. If someone on the north you know, sure, Florida on the East Coast searches that they might find you, but that's no good because you're all the way on, on the Gulf, right? Um, next, I'm going to show you down here. This is called the local map pack. This is how you get found locally in your area when people search for things like near me or by me, right? Or Cape Coral, Fort Myers. So to get found locally and get in this map pack, you have to have your name, address, and phone number out there as many times as possible into as many directories as possible. It seems like Yellow Pages, Facebook, Yelp, right? If your competition has 50, just make sure you're getting more of them. 150 is good. Uh, that way you can beat them out and stay at the top and collect all this local traffic. And then you don't have to drive all the way to Pensacola, right? Um, down here, this is the organic area. This is where most people click. They don't really go down to where the ads are or second, third, fourth, fifth page of Google. And to get in this, you got to look at Google itself like a popularity contest. There's all these things called backlinks out there, which are like popularity votes. They're basically they're links from other websites to your website. It gives your website kind of a vote of confidence in Google's eyes. If there's more things pointing in your direction, the more uh, prominent it seems, the more relative and authoritative, authoritative the content seems. So you want to have a lot of those backlinks. Um, and I'm going to show you on this tool again in Ahrefs. Basically, this shows me that you have six websites linking back to your website, right? Um, and if they're linking back 18 times, but this only transfers power once. So you have about six backlinks. And this guy over here, he's your top competition and he is, he only has 10 backlinks, right? And he's getting organic traffic of 43 people a month versus you. You're getting uh, two people to your website a month. So you can see how just a small difference in the backlinks that you have uh, can really change how many people come to your website. And this guy is a pretty poor online presence. So it'd be super easy to, to beat out. You know, this right here is your content or your, your domain rank. It's a score that they give you based on your competition. And you says, it says zero and you got a URL rank, which is, is no data as well. Uh, your competition has a 13 URL rank and this is a domain rank of zero as well. This is the most important number. So this basically shows me the quality of the links that we have linking to your website and then the quantity of those links, you know, not all backlinks are created equal. You want to make sure you're finding backlinks that are relative to your industry. You can't have a pizza shop linking to your spray foam business. Google will recognize that and they'll deduct you points. Um, but I hope this was helpful. And like I said, the three things I really want you to take a look at are making sure you're getting at least 1,500 words of content on your homepage and adding in those keywords that people are searching for, right, uh, up in this bar. 
to find you. And then additionally, getting your name, address, and phone number out there as many times as possible into as many directories as possible, things like Yellow Pages. And if you want to get in this organic area, you need to go out and find websites that will link back to your website and give you this vote of confidence, which will boot up, boost up your domain rank score and your URL rank score. And that'll allow you to collect more of this tra organic traffic over here. And you can start stealing some of the traffic from this guy who's honestly doing nothing to keep his website up here at the top. Uh, it's just probably he has a little bit more than power than you guys. So uh, if you would like to chat some more, definitely shoot me a message and we can talk. I have a few more ideas I'd love to share with you. Uh, if not, that's totally fine. I just ask, could you please shoot me a message back whether you're interested or not and let me know what you thought of the video. I love feedback and I'd really appreciate, uh, appreciate it. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one, Lonnie.